In this video, I'm gonna try to dominate some crabgrass, but I wanna correct something that possibly I did in a previous video. So previously I made a video where I tried out three different plots of crabgrass and I used the same exact weed killer product on all three plots, but one of them I had no surfactant, another I had a non-ionic surfactant, another I had methylated seed oil. Well guess what? The methylated seed oil one did the worst out of all three and that shouldn't be. So I, I got to thinking about it and I say, why did that happen? And the more I got to thinking about it and looking back at the crabgrass plots, I think that it's possible that I sprayed actually a different variety of crabgrass, a different species of crabgrass, and that's why the results were not the same. So in this video, I'm trying out methylated seed oil with the same weed killer product. I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. And we're gonna spray two plots and we're gonna see which one gets better results. So let's look at the crabgrass first. I'm gonna tell you about the product that I'm using and then uh, we're gonna spray this and what we're gonna do, we're gonna check back on it and see the results. Here's my two patches of crabgrass. So I've got this one marked with a flag and I've got a flag over there. And you can see obviously some bare ground in here. This is a Bermuda grass lawn that has some bare spots and these bare spots have been totally taken over for the most part by crabgrass. And let's just see from observing and maybe somebody in the comments can tell me the difference but if you see this one it looks greener and healthier i don't think this is just greener and healthier of the same species i think it's an actually a different type so this is the one that i believe i had a harder time controlling with the last application and let me show you the one that i felt like was easier to control all right look at this it, it just looks like a different species and this one's going to seed real fast and it, it looks like it, it obviously looks drier and not as healthy but that's not due to herbicide application i think it's just the time of the year we're doing this uh it's almost fall so, so i think this grass this type of crabgrass is already in a very mature state and won't be around much longer where the other doesn't look as, as fast to go to seed head let me see if i can find a seed head on the other one here's the seed head on this one real skinny wide stalk on it and yeah, it does appear to have a, a slightly different seed head. I would, let me see if I can just hold them side by side. So this is the seed head for this one. I have them side by side. It would be very difficult for me to tell the difference um, Look at them in this situation. But the actual leaf does look like there are some differences in my opinion. It's possible this is the same type of crabgrass and one's just healthier than another. I don't believe that's true. I think it's actually two different types. So if you know the, the answer to that question, you can leave it in the comments. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna spray it with the same mixture. I'm using a product called Quinclorac. The actual brand name on the label is called Q-Ball, but it's Quinclorac. It's a post-emergent used for crabgrass control. So I'm gonna spray it. It should work fast, okay? We don't have to give this many days and we're gonna see some serious results. I wanna kind of redeem the methylated seed oil because it didn't do such a great job the other day controlling the, the one that I think is a little tougher to control, uh, but I got a feeling it's gonna absolutely obliterate this other one. So let's get started spraying. All right, I've already got the quinclac mixed up at the high rate, 1.45 ounces per thousand square feet, which I'm equating to one gallon of water. So one gallon of water, 1.45 ounces of the quinclac, which again, the product I'm using is Q-Ball. There's other products that have quinclac in it. And then the methylated seed oil is mixed in here, which should make it more effective. I'm gonna spray what I'm considering to be the toughest patch first, and then we'll spray the one I think is gonna be a little easier second. All right, when you do these applications, make sure you're wearing your PPE. I've got my rubber gloves, rubber boots, long sleeve shirt. We're gonna check back on these applications and see the results and see which one works better. I, I think it's gonna work on both of them, but I got a feeling it's gonna work on one better than the other. And again, this is gonna hopefully redeem my confidence in the methylated seed oil because I think it's gonna knock the one variety out very fast. It's been about 48 hours since we sprayed the quinclorac on the two crabgrass plots. Let's go see what's going on with it. Okay, so here's what we're seeing. 
and it's kind of what I suspected. I, I think I totally screwed up the other video, and I'm going to pop the other video up on the screen for you at the end of this one so you can go watch it. Because I was made me wonder, like, why did the one with the methylated seed oil not do as good in the other video? And now I think I'm confirming what I thought the mistake was. I really believe I was spraying a different variety of crabgrass. So after two days, you can see this is the crabgrass that I think is easier to control. And we're getting some serious browning. Now we're going to give this one or two more days before we wrap up the video. And then you see the one. And here's the other variety. And it's still just significantly more green. Now it's working on it. Like it worked before. Matter of fact, I might go show you the one I sprayed before because it's been like two weeks since it was sprayed. And we can go see what it looks like now. But anyway, I think that's what happened. I sprayed two different varieties of crabgrass, so that's felt like I really screwed that other video up. Here's some that hasn't been sprayed at all. You can see how green it is. Let me show you the patch that we sprayed a couple weeks ago so you can see what it looks like. All right, here it is. And I actually did a great job on it. It's just in comparison with the other variety, you can see there's still a little bit of green in here, but most of it, it pretty much controlled it. It just didn't control it near as fast as it did the other variety. So that's kind of what I'm expecting again. I think it will work. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Where on the initial uh, plot that we'd spray with no surfactant at all, it was doing better than the one with the mesylated seed oil. And I thought, what? Something's not right about this. Let's give this another day or two, and then we'll check back on the two plots and see what's going on with it. It's been about five and a half days since the crabgrass application. Let's take a look at the two plots and let's make some conclusions. All right, let's look at them from a distance here. You can see sort of two different colors over here, a lot darker brown over here, a little bit lighter brown over here. And the lighter brown was the one that is what I'm assuming now is two different flavors of crabgrass, two different species uh, would be more accurate. But you can see it is controlling it. It's just not as fast. So I feel like what I need to do is just make a public apology to the methylated seed oil because on the other video where I tested quinclorac with no surfactant and then I tested it with methylated seed oil, then I tested it with a non-ionic surfactant. It actually looked like the methylated seed oil one was the worst results, but actually I was spraying a different species of crabgrass because this was sprayed with the methylated seed oil and you can see the results obviously speak for themselves. That's pretty much 100% control. I'm not saying there's no green in there. There may be a little bit, but it basically dominated the crabgrass with the methylated seed oil and this it's not dead yet, I don't think, but you can see what I like to see is all that green in there for the most part is the Bermuda grass. So Bermuda still looks good. Crabgrass is dying out. And what it turns out methylated seed oil does work great. I just didn't have everything in place on the other video. I'm gonna put a link to that one if you want to watch it pop it up on your screen now. Thanks for watching this video. Leave me a comment below. I'd like to hear from you as far as what you use for crabgrass post-emerge again. Remember, prodiamine before the crabgrass germinates works great, is a lot cheaper, and has extremely good control for crabgrass. But if you have some, uh, obviously the quinclorac will work as a post-emergent. It's gonna work better at different periods of the lifespan of the, of the crabgrass. Early in the life cycle, later in the life cycle, it's gonna be a little tougher to control uh, at its peak strength in midsummer. If you wanna get in the weed control and fertilization business, there's a lot of resources at LawnCareLife.com, including the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. Now I've got the Weed Control and Fertilization documents, which has programs, pricing chart, things like that. So you can check those out. I appreciate you watching. There's over a thousand videos on the channel. Maybe you wanna hang around and watch some more. We'll see you in the next video.